This is London. It's the third most populated city in the whole of Europe. There are currently 8.6 million people living here, and in 2050, it will be closer to 11 million. All of these people will need homes, offices, and anonymities. Now, not only will the construction of these buildings leave an enormous impact on the environment, the usage of the facilities within them will as well. This is also London. This is the view our team was introduced to when we came one morning to the Sky Garden in the fifth tallest building in London. It could be considered as a stroke of bad luck that we couldn't film the imposing skyline from this location. What is worth noting, however, is that the fog that completely covers the windows of this massive building is not natural. The fog is direct evidence that our environment is rapidly taking a turn for the worse. One of many ways to reduce our impact on the environment is the development of sustainable architecture. Hi, my name's Sam Cooper. Uh, I'm the director of E2 Architecture and Interiors. Good morning, I'm Sebastian Ricard. I'm one of the directors of Wilkinson Architect. What is sustainable architecture is, 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 is actually quite a complex question to answer. My philosophy is that for architecture to be sustainable, um, it has to minimise its impact on the environment. It's effectively, of course, an efficient building that you consume as less energy as you can. And for that, there's two uh, key elements to it. One is the, uh, the, the envelope itself of the bâtiment. You want the building, you want that to be very efficient, so you reduce the energy. There is another fundamental, a more fundamental aspect to sustainability architecture, which is not covered to those two themes, which is more about actually what is real sustainability in a building beyond the energy aspect because you have many other factors which come into sustainability such as for instance uh, is this building going to be lasting for long because actually if you have to rebuild a building after 25 years 30 years for economical ground that's not very sustainable so actually uh, uh, a building which people love, which is respected and which is well built, is a very important aspect of sustainability. While there is no clear definition of exactly what sustainable architecture is, there are certain elements that makes a building more environmentally friendly. Things like solar panelling, solar lighting, rainwater harvesting and ground source heating. There are elements of sustainable architecture that are not only environmentally friendly, but aesthetically pleasing as well. This is the crystal. It can be considered the crown jewel of the sustainable buildings in London. The crystal was made with the environment at the heart of the design process. Among several things, it recycles 100% of its water through a process known as black water treatment, making its water supply completely self-contained. I'm Johnny, I work for the crystal. But black water treatment is basically uh, the absolute 1% waste that nobody else would use. This is the sewage that's coming out and it's trying to turn it back into water that's usable. And recycling it, and recycling it in a way that you can drink it. It's drinkable, that's the big difference. So it's going through uh, two different valves. So first of all, it's removing the nitrogen through an anoxic process and then it goes through into the second valve where we're removing any more kind of waste or dirt or sludge that would be remaining in there. This house is uh, known as the Pavilion and it's really a manifesto project for us um, where we are really trying to get the highest performance uh, on the sustainability measure. And this is where we have all the kit that is generating the heat that we need. So we're taking heat out of the ground 120 metres below the building with the ground source heat pump. Um, that provides uh, extra heat to heat the hot water that hasn't been heated by the solar thermal panels on the roof. Uh, heat recovery ventilation system which is pushing fresh air into the building but it's warming that fresh air by using the warmth from the stale air that's being pumped out of the building. We've got the control panels here for photovoltaics on the roof that is providing electricity that we're selling back to the grid. Sustainable architecture is an important weapon in the war against climate change. Now many of the examples we have seen in this film may only be considered concepts. They are expensive and truly impressive pieces of architectural art. But what we need for tomorrow is for them to become the norm for new buildings all over the world.